Nah, you can be racist to anything, bro. Y'all gotta stop that. Bro, come on, man. Black yeah, bro. Be but get offended when a motherfucker say, "Where's Black Lives Matter?" Black Lives Matter is stupid. I'm not talking. I'm it's not a white, talking. A white woman runs Black Lives Matter. <laughs> no, it's a gay black. Woman. I'm not talking about who run it. I'm talking about when a a, a white person comments, you know, some crazy shit towards black people in the comments for some some coon shit they didn't did in the video. Yeah, then it's I mean, then it's offensive. Nah, I just feel like I feel like they should be called out for being on some coon shit, and black folks can't be racist. I just I will never ever feel that black folks can be racist except for two other minorities. Bro, I don't see how you can how, how you can say that. You gotta say you got, say how, that. How you gotta say, you got the way he understanding it, bro. This is what he's saying. He's saying you can't be racist to white people because it's only a reaction of the way we've been taught. We've been treated like this. They They've taught us treated. to treat us like nigga, this. You know what I'm saying? Am I gonna... but, hey, nigga, I'm none of us, to... none of us were slaves. Yes, I. But that's I okay. That's slave, true. But that does we not have no slave, nothing to but do we with how the way I they treat treated us. on a day. I live in California. I lived in Orange County, where every white person that walked up to me was surprised I even lived in that area, nigga. I got looked at stupid just for being in Irvine. Thank I God you wasn't in Irvine. We don't know how that feels. I could, bro, bro, I do. I you don't think it's like County. that in Texas? I live, nigga, I lived in Orange County. I live in California where it's supposed to be, oh, so happy-go-lucky. We supposed to love each other and all this other fuck shit. Nigga, I get stared at everywhere I go in my city. And I live here. I pay more. I'm, I, my rent probably higher than most niggas out here. Nigga, I'm going to stare at you too. Who's that nigga right there? Who this nigga? Nigga, I got. I'm where I got. I got foreign cars just like everybody else. We got everything y'all got. It's just, nigga. I I'm black and I live here. I'm sorry that I'm black. That's and a I'm mind thing, town. bro. No, it's not a mind. Hey, I'm gonna thing. keep it G though. When I go into this. a store and I got every single person in the store looking at me, it's not a mind thing. It's a they're looking at me thing. All right, check like this out. Though. You ain't never thing. felt like you just look good to these hoes. Hey, nah, check no, this out though. Check bro, this out though. Not a girl. It's not that, bro. I'm a bum. You know how I dress. You know how I look, bro. Okay, so have color. you had? So have you had any races in commerce? Man, check this yes, out, bro. This is what it is. The first, you, know, you know what the best? You know what my favorite encounter by racist people is? Hey, yep. so uh, they be like, hey, so where do you guys live? Oh, I live in Irvine in Orange County. Oh. So how, where do you work? Oh, I, I I work security at this little spot. Oh. You yeah, ever thought they just nosy? No, nigga, they're really trying to, they're, they're on some, I don't know how the fuck you live in here and you shouldn't be here type shit. They're asking. No, no that's how we ass. take it, bro. That's how we take it. They don't no, know how bro, to talk to us. Just like we don't know how to talk to them. This the thing, Dead bro. Honest truth, I, ha I had a white dude from my job after that happened came up to me and was like, "That lady came up to me and said, I don't under she didn't understand how you lived here, how you paid rent in this area, working a security job." Mm. You know they be mad she at the came police. Up to a white person right afterwards. <laughs> they be mad at the police for how they treat black folk and hanging out in the hood all day, but niggas always doing shit. So which side you gonna look at it yeah. from? Yeah, bro. That's what I'm like, saying. It go both ways, bro. Whatever. Niggas are always doing shit. I understand what you're where you're coming from. I understand, but when I'm not causing an issue, I I don't see wh or even uh, why even I don't say that every white person's racist. I don't go out and be like, oh yeah, this man is gonna be racist to me as soon as I speak to him. I don't think that. But for them, they think that we're all hoodlums, and that's not true. Niggas are always doing shit and that's though. That's the fucked up. That that's not all niggas. You know plenty of niggas. I didn't niggas say all niggas. Niggas. Yeah, but but I know, know a lot of niggas you know, that is. Niggas. But you know plenty of niggas that ain't. You know plenty of niggas that ain't. So it's a it's like a just a get to know the person rather than yeah. based But on the crazy income. part is about it, the niggas that ain't just be scared or smart. Yeah. Either or, but still, it's a lot still of the fact that. Way. We're basing it off of the fact that we're basing people off of color. And I don't judge people off of color, but I'm always judged off of mine. 
Hey, like, y'all like the video. So I have the right to low key. I have the right to be. I have the right to say what I say. I'm not racist. I'm just saying something because nigga, they were doing this to me. Nigga, fuck them. Not like you know, that, I like but. The video, I like the video. <laughs> I get what you're saying, bro. I can feel the same it's, way. It's it's complete. It's completely different living in California because we're literally the most racist area I've ever lived in my life. I don't give a fuck if y'all got KKK living down the street from your house. You got a KKK member living right across the street from you. California is more racist than any city I've ever been in. I mean, state I've ever been in. We segregate each other by city. So why would you even live out there? Because I'm born here, nigga. I love my, I love the culture of the fun of California, but nigga, Mexican, there's a whole Mexican city. There there won't be too many black people in that city. You telling me? If you go to a love, you love the racism. That nigga you know, loves no, segregation. I, you telling no, me you love not, the segregation? That's what you're telling me. I never. I'm not. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you that. I love that's everything what else. Here. What do you love? What do you come to California for? What do you come to California for? That's what weed. I love about California. <laughs> exactly. Weed. I'm here for the. I'm here for the weed and the culture. Women, Literally weed, the and weather. Vibes, the parties, the fact that I can meet somebody tomorrow that might make me a millionaire. California is a crazy place. It's a beautiful. You can do place. that out here too. But when you look, but when you no, you nigga, you I can walk down. I could be outside my house right now and run across a nigga that will make me a literal millionaire in California. This is the next. You can literally do that here, world. bro. There's not a place in the world you can make more money than California. On God, on God in heaven, you can look it up. There's more networking going on here to make you a millionaire overnight than any country, any That's city. Or turn saying. around. Then you turn around and say, it ain't no opportunities. Niggas ain't got no hustle. They out here, they out there rocking. They don't, they don't have no hustle. That doesn't mean there is an opportunity. That y'all are y'all are throwing words in my mouth. That's contradicting what you I'm saying. You said that. I'm say- Okay, but you have to look into the context. Just because niggas Straight don't want to go hustle crazy. doesn't mean there isn't hustle. Like there's a, bu- I make money every day. I made a thousand dollars just in four, in two, three days, nigga. I make money all the time. We talking about hustle. the niggas that's going out and taking from people. But that has nothing to do with the fact that I'm just trying to say, gangbang culture and them stealing shit is just them being broke ass niggas with a broke ass mentality. Niggas in Houston rob shit. That don't mean yeah, that. Yeah, but that, that outweighs. You got to think about it. That outweighs the it good. Doesn't outweigh, and we see. It doesn't It does not outweigh the good because niggas is still coming to California trying to be an actor by tomorrow. Niggas is still flying out here thinking they're going to get rap dreams. Tell me they not. That's true. Tell me Tell me your favorite rapper has to come. doesn't have to come to L.A. to be somebody. Doesn't if he stayed in Houston, like if Sauce on on my baby life, if Sauce Walker didn't come to LA, he wouldn't have been nobody. You sleep, Sauce gonna be Sauce wherever he goes. On my baby life, on my baby life. What you gotta go to LA for? The business opportunities, you get more exposure. All of the fans are here. We we sell out shows more than any other place in the world. There's gonna be sold out shows for just an underground nigga, a nigga who ain't got no name gonna sell out in California. But before he sell out anywhere else, I'm trying to tell you how much money we can really make, but niggas don't go get it. We're the networking capital of the world. No. People come here to make a million dollars tomorrow, but I'm not saying it's not the most racist place. I'm not saying it's not fucked up, but that's what niggas come here for. I love the culture of we can make money tomorrow. I can literally go outside and meet a nigga who is an A&R or something, and I'm cool with the nigga as a friend because I smoked with him, and next thing you know, I got a record deal. That happens to niggas every day who ain't got no talent. That's why there's countless amounts of niggas running around, zero talent, on drugs, and just because they were smoking and, and did a coke line with a nigga or, or sit some lean with some random nigga, and now he's, he's on as a rapper. That happens every day out here. Lil Peep. Uh, 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 XX Tentacion, Lil Pump, uh, Smoke Perp, all that SoundCloud era, they had to come out here and do drugs with some of these rich niggas and get on. We understand what you're saying, but at the same time, you're saying it's the most racist. It is. It's I never agree with that, bro. 
it still doesn't mean that we don't that white folks don't like us. We have they have it's to be so much, it's, bro. It's so it's so so many. It's Mexico. I ain't right gonna there. lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There's some more Mexican people don't right don't there. Like no, man, for Cali has got hell of a lot of people, bro. Bro, you can't tell me Samoan LA the most racist people. Cali is the most racist place, bro. When I came from down south, my boy. Exactly. The I swamp, guess, bro. Yeah, Mississippi, yeah, Alabama, Louisiana, man. Come on, man. Them people look, man. You my, crazy here. My family members live five my, in Louisiana. My great grandma told me a story about how they burned crosses in her yard when she was a kid, scared to go I, outside. You telling me it's more fucked I, up than that? No way. I I understand what you're talking about. We're talking about in 2021. We know, and if you want to talk about that, we can look up Compton. Compton, that was happening in the 80s in Compton. The 80s in Compton. East Compton was full of white folks. They were running black folks out of their houses, shooting them, killing them, all types of weirdo ass shit. They, 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 yeah, that was happening out here. What are you talking about? Where was Black Wall oh, Street? Oh, God in heaven. Where was Black Wall in Street? East, in, Black Wall Street was in Oklahoma. I'm trying to tell you that it happened everywhere. Just because LA tried to undercover it and make it seem like it's not a thing doesn't mean it wasn't happening. The Rodney King riot happened out here. Don't forget. I believe like, what you're uh, saying. We, we got a whole bunch of shit just as racist as any other outside country. I'm telling you, it's just as bad here as anywhere else. It's just undercover because they don't walk around with the KKK flag and they don't wear skinheads doesn't mean they ain't racist. This white man wearing a business suit will give you a job and never give you a promotion. He'll let you work there for 15 years, do extra work and never give you a promotion. That's in that's inside racism. He'll make sure that he'll make sure that. But how can you say that California had the most opportunities? Because make the most money. Because if I can make a because if I can make a dollar off you, why wouldn't I? I don't care if I don't like the skin color on your back, nigga. If I can make a dollar off you, that's how it's always been. Hollywood has always been like that. What makes you think the rest of it ain't? Hollywood has always been like that. I don't have to like you to put it for you to put dollars in my pocket, nigga. Only have to, yeah. you could be, I, man, you could kiss my motherfucking ass, bitch, and I'll give you, I'll make sure you pay it every week, bitch. Fuck you. Nah, man, I don't, I don't you gonna make sure this work done? Nah, cause niggas would. And I, I understand it, cause growing up, but you understand, like, wait, hold up, this is a two hundred thousand dollar job. Cause I was seeing that with the little dirt, oh, with the with the little dirt, uh, the the nigga who who uh, fake Perkyo. I was seeing, I was kind of just looking at them text messages and going back to see how the other people were texting each other. So the niggas was basically charged, bro. It really was ten thousand, and another nigga got three. Like basically, yeah. it was kind of weird. Like he was saying three thousand. It was. I was just looking at the text messages like these niggas just like, be bro, that make you niggas just to get like the nigga was supposed to get really ten. He got sick because the other nigga told three. Yeah, they be juicing, bro. It's easy to juice people, especially out here. So they they get they get an opportunity. If you ain't never seen ten thousand dollars, why would I give it to you? They know that. Why would I give you ten thousand dollars? I can give you four. You'll still accept it and be happy as fuck to be for, be here. Uh, that's true. But I'm not saying it like, well, I'm yeah, saying yeah. that like, I'm not, I'm saying that yes, there's opportunity. Yes, there's other shit. Cause yes, we have Hollywood, but it's still racism here. Just like any other place is just undercover. We separate by city. This is where I wanted to get to in the beginning. We separate by city. I went, I lived in a city called Fontana. Fontana is majority Mexican. If you look up the population, I say at least 70% of them are Mexican that live in that city. And what's now, the population? Now, if you go, if you go to, it's probably like 200,000, 300,000 people. It's 70% Mexican. Now, if you go to places like, I don't know, uh, fuck, there's another place like Koreatown. Koreatown, nothing but Asians, but they named it Koreatown because there's nothing but Asians. Uh, they got different areas where we all sector each other off, like Compton. You're going to go to Compton, you're going to see Mexican and black folks, but each block and sector is going to be different. They're going to be like, nah, black folks can't come down these couple of streets, and then Mexicans can't come down these couple of streets. This is a part of the game. It's fucked up, but it's just inside racism. Yeah, but you said Cali is more racist than 
it, it is. If you if you think about it, you can literally live right next to white folks and they'll be cool with you now. Now now it's changed a lot out there to where white folks and black folks low key get along. It's kind of like mutually uh, respect a little bit and like you know shit like that out here. Ain't no mutual respect. Man, they don't like you. Nigga, you live on the other side of town. They really just don't like you because you are that. Like, you're black. You're getting beat up for walking down the street. You don't have to gangbang. You ain't got to have no culture. No, none of that. You're getting fucked up for walking down the street. You black. You trying to get a job in this city. You will not get a job. You live out here. You fucked up. Oh, well. They'll get that little white boy who Down syndrome the job at a register before they give you that fucking job. Yeah. Oh God, that's just how it is. It's still to this day type little shit. I guess we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. Yeah. You gotta let you gotta come out here for a couple months and I'll show you the difference. All right, since we're still on the oh. on the Cali on the Cali um subject. I won't feel no different, bro. My people is from Jasper, bro. Like you know how many racist ass towns and spots oh, yeah, they got in yeah. texas alone yeah jasper's fucked up i'm not saying that texas and louisiana ain't fucked up i'm just telling you that you come out here and thinking that they just does it's peaches and cream all the damn time this shit is just as bad as anywhere else and sometimes worse i remember going i remember being chased home with my basketball gear by a whole bunch of mexicans late at night because i got out of practice and it was dark and i lived five this i lived 15 minutes walking from the school I got chased home. You feel me? Shit like that. Like who chased you home, then, bro? Like his Hispanics. I got chased by a whole bunch of grown ass men. I was fourteen years old. It was big ass grown men chasing behind me, walking home from school at like nine o'clock from basketball practice. You were scared? Hell yeah, I was scared. I know. I could hear them feet slapping the ground now. Well, it was, it was <laughs> when I when I looked. Cause at first I seen a big ass group of them and I'm walking to, I'm walking home. So I didn't really think nothing of it. I start hearing the pitter pattern and it's all of them niggas. It's like a good 10 niggas running behind me looking for, looking to just, I don't know what they was going to do, but I just wasn't going to get caught in the middle of none of that shit. Okay, so looking back on it, you don't even know them niggas was after you. You just know they was running. They, you looked no, back and was so you ran. Me. They was <laughs> after me. They, no, ain't no, ain't no, it ain't like you thinking it's a joke. It's, uh, it, you could think it's a joke, but it was just as serious as I'm saying it. I know my, I know the area I lived in, and that street was a well known drug confessed area. 